Hello! In this figure, we have an oblique triangle with side C of 7 units. Angle A is 78 degrees, angle B is 35 degrees, and both these angles are adjacent to side C. So, this triangle has a given angle, side, angle. We need to find side A, side B, and angle C. To solve this problem, we will use the law of sines. And this is side A over sine of angle A equals side B over sine of angle B equals side C over sine of angle C. To be able to use the law of sines, we need to know at least one side and the opposite angle. In this triangle, we know side C, but we don't know angle C. Therefore, we will start by finding angle C. For this, we will subtract these two angles from 180 degrees. So, angle C equals 180 minus 78 and minus 35. Then, angle C equals 67 degrees. Now we can use the law of science to find either side A or side B. I will start with side A. For this, I will need two of these three ratios. First, I will need A over sine of A because we have to find side A. Then I will also use C over sine of C because we know side C and angle C. So again, A over sine of angle A equals C over sine of angle C. Then here we will replace A with 78 degrees, side C with 7, and angle C with 67 degrees. So then we will have A over sine of 78 degrees equals 7 over sine of 67 degrees. Then we will use cross multiplying to write that A times sine of 67 degrees equals 7 times sine of 78 degrees. Then we will divide both sides by sine of 67 degrees. Then using a calculator we will get that A is approximately 7.4 units. Now, in the last step, we will find side B. This time, we will use B over sine of angle B, and we can use again C over sine of angle C. So, B over sine of B equals C over sine of C. Then we will replace angle B with 35 degrees, side C with 7, and angle C with 67 degrees. So we will have B over sine of 35 degrees equals 7 over sine of 67 degrees. Then we will use cross multiplying to write that B times sine of 67 degrees equals 7 times sine of 35 degrees. And now we will divide both sides by sine of 67 degrees to isolate B. And B will be approximately 4.4. And now the problem is completed. Thank you for watching.